Hey everyone, this is Oscar from Underdog, and today's big question is, what do techno and bird watching have in common? Any ideas? For the answer, stick around for the second half of this video, because first, let's do something educational. So here's another question. What are the main instruments in electronic music? Almost universally, they fall under two categories. One is synthesizers, and what synthesizers do is they generate sounds using elementary elements like oscillators, and they allow you to shape those sounds using a set of controls. The second main category are samplers. Samplers are basically empty boxes that you put a recorded sound into, and then you use a keyboard or some other controls to trigger that sound. But then whenever you send a signal to that box, which is called a sampler, it's going to play the sound that is recorded inside of it. If you're familiar with those two instruments, synthesizers and samplers in general, you basically have control over almost anything that could possibly be put in front of you in terms of electronic music instruments. Now there's a subtype of sampler that I want to introduce you to, which is called the multi-sampler. What a multi-sampler is, is basically a version of a sampler where someone has paid extreme amounts of attention to the accurate and versatile reproduction of an original sound. So it's not the simple approach to sampling like I did two weeks ago when I triggered vocal slices in the Zendaya vocal chops video. Because in that video, I just took a source sound, put it into a sampler and triggered it at its original pitch a few times over and over, almost like a percussion sample. Just it's often referred to as a one shot sample. You just play that one shot again and again. Instead, imagine someone recording a real piano, an acoustic piano, at every single note at different levels of intensity, putting all of those into a sampler, and then mapping the different input velocities to the different samples, so that when you play a digital MIDI keyboard, it sounds exactly like a real acoustic piano. That's what a multi-sampler does. And not only is piano a classic sound for this, there are certain other sounds that are very hard to synthesize realistically, and that's why multi-samplers are often used for them. In particular, I'm thinking of strings. I'm thinking of horns, brass sounds. And then more weird and creative ones like the ones we're gonna get to in a moment. So now, of course, you're asking, where can I get a multi-sampler like this? And aren't they pretty expensive? Well, they have been in the past. They have been pretty expensive, but they are getting better and better and cheaper and cheaper. And today in particular, I'd like to introduce you to a company called Orchestral Tools, who make a product called Sign Player. And Sign Player is a multi-sampler solution for which you can buy all sorts of sound packs, or you can start for free using something called the Sign Factory Bundle. If you go to their website and you look at the Sign Factory sounds, you get all of these essential sounds like the piano, the strings, the horns, all for free. And then later you can decide if you want to upgrade or expand your palette with something a little bit more potent or a little bit more diverse. By the way, this video is also sponsored by Orchestral Tools. So thank you very much to them for making this educational content possible. So the cool thing about Sign Player is that you get a whole bunch of free libraries straight out of the gate that you can start experimenting with. And to be honest, in a lot of multi-sampler situations, uh, what you just want is some type of piano, some type of strings, some type of horns, and some type of orchestral percussion. And you get those libraries for free with Sign Player. For example, here are the horns. And here are the strings. And you can easily create a sense of drama inside of a track by using things like this because acoustic samples like this have a very nice counterbalance or contrast with purely synthetic sounds like synthesizers. So once you're comfortable with standard multi-sampled instruments, what if you're looking for something a little bit more juicy and weird? Let's get into that. Let me show you something cool. Okay, so what exists beyond the classic multi-sample instruments? Well, it comes back to the question of the introduction. What do techno and birdwatching have in common? And the answer is a guy called Dominik Ulberg. Dominik Ulberg is a long time legend and pioneer in the techno scene. And he makes a type of techno that many people refer to as Berlin techno. Now, when I'm coaching people, when they say Berlin techno, it can mean one of two things. <laughs> it either means 
very, very hard industrial uh, atonal music. Or they mean very beautifully sculpted melodic music like Paul Kalkbrenner or Dominic Ulberg. <laughs> And besides being a techno pioneer, Dominic is also a biologist, a conservationist, and a very passionate bird watcher. You can see this in all of his cover art. And so he's worked together with the people from the Sign Multisampler to create a super interesting layered multisampler instrument that combines synthesizer sounds and nature sounds together. So instead of being organized by instrument type, instead we are invited to choose a, a location, like a, a habitat, let's say, and then to select a season. And all of these have different types of expressions and feelings inside of them. Now to explore any multi-sampler, what you are going to need is a MIDI keyboard, preferably if you can, a pretty wide one, so that you can use both hands to use all your piano skills. And what you're going to want as well is a mod wheel. A mod wheel allows you to explore the different types of expression that they've built into the sample. And for each one of these patches, it's going to mean something slightly different. But in this case, it might mean blending from strings to horns. So once you get your hands on this, you need to make yourself emotionally available to explore it for a while and be prepared for inspiration to get triggered while you're working on this. Personally, I stumbled across a few textures that I absolutely needed to include in a Face the Sun track. You can follow that project on SoundCloud and on Instagram here. So in conclusion, our multi-sampler is something for you. Well, I think that is a super helpful color and tool to have in your toolbox ready to go for that moment when you need some strings in a song or that moment when you need some acoustic elements in a song. And as you can see, it's as simple as getting the free sign player libraries. That's all you need. Then once you've got those bases covered, you can ask yourself, do you want to inject some more inspiration in a kind of a secret sauce, kind of a color kind of a way? Something that's purely helpful to unblock some inspiration that's maybe not necessary as an everyday part of your workflow, but there is a kind of a secret color to get a feeling and a texture that will be very hard to get using other methods. In that case, feel free to explore some of these more niche and exotic sample libraries like Dominic's Habitat. If you like educational content like this, or you're a beginner and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of this music education content, do check out my Foundations of Electronic Music course, where I walk absolute beginners through to become intermediate level producers in a structure, one video at a time, in a relaxed framework, explaining everything from A to Z, assuming no prior knowledge. Like the video, subscribe, and leave me a comment to show me some love. Come show us on the Discord channel what you've done with all this. And until next time, stay producing, be good to one another, and take care. Bye-bye.